It wasn't a fart, that was a mouth fart. No, because I hit her leg. Oh, oh I thought you no, could. No, you're good. I was like, that wasn't a real fart. I know. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I'd be so nervous. I don't know if she needs to be over my shoulder. There, yeah, that's right. good, that's good. It's yeah. your part. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Okay, on my shoulder it is. Hey, Miss Friends, my name is Krista Adama, blogger of KristaAdama.com, as well as founder of the best medium, I said medium, media <laughs> brand ever. So definitely check out those links once you watch this video. I promise you, it is lit, 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 and lit. Okay, so we do have some special guests. So introduce yourself. Hi, everyone, my name is Blessing. Hey, everyone, my name is Liz. Yes, and we're here on the college series and we're gonna be discussing another topic. So today's topic is, is a master's degree necessary in life? I personally feel, okay, so if college isn't for you, then maybe furthering your education as far as a master's degree might not necessarily be for you. But at this point, people are saying that like college, like your bachelor's is like equivalent to a high school diploma at this point they're not even employing people they are rather take people who has a master's versus um a college degree and i just really feel like it depends on the career as me personally um i want to pursue my master's as well as my doctorate so for me personally yeah for you it might not be how about so you i think that you know going along with what you're saying if you have never gone to college or if you don't have the resources to go to college and you just have your high school diploma um i think that thinking about master's degree is just going a little bit too far but for people like us who just recently graduated who are still searching for um you know a career i've been searching for a career for like the past three months and almost every posting it says master's preferred bachelor's degree required so you know four years ago i was super super about all about okay i need i need my education to be able to excel in my life and to be able to move forward with my life and now that i have my degree i kind of just feel like you know for what i want to do i need it um i don't know if i want to reveal what i want to do yet because it's ever changing mm -hmm. i have so many things that i want to do but it really is all step by step but i do feel like um as Blessing said, nowadays your bachelor's degree is equivalent to your high school diploma. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it feels, you know, it it work like it. Hard. Hard. Four it, years. It works so hard. And for people who it don't have, like you know, for people who don't have the money to even go to college, getting through that, and for people who come from these communities that aren't really, you know, like preparing us to go to mm -hmm. four year college, it's just like you getting to that point finishing it's just it means so much and especially mm -hmm. if you have parents that didn't go to college that come from very humble beginnings and then you're at this point where it's just kind of like i'm here what can i do with what i know and if i've gotten these opportunities when i was in college can i get them as a uh, you know as a graduate student mm -hmm. probably yes and i also feel like going along with what blessing said it really all depends on what you want to do i mean I really don't know, I can't speak for every other major, but with my major, which is public health, I know that a lot of the work that is paid more and has, you have more power to change, um, you know, and institutions policies, and policies and be able to change the way that communities are served and the really? way that people, the priorities, I think it's super necessary to have one. So. You know, it's kind of like a one of those questions that's just kind of like there's no right or wrong answer. Mm -hmm. It really all depends on what you want to do, you know. But I feel like what you said was really important. Like there's no right or wrong answer because everybody's situation is different. I'm For me personally, I feel like if you want to do a master's degree, you have to know what, like, what is, what is your purpose, sis? What do you want to do in life? Or oh, oh, like, bro. Oh, oh, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> like, what impact do you want to have? Don't just go and do your master's because your mom said, or your dad said, you must do your master's. Yeah. Or don't just do it because all your friends are doing it. What do you want to do? When you figure out what you want to do, then see the best ways to get to that point. Sometimes, 
people want to make some people need to do their masters to get to that point like Liz was saying some people you can just you know get your bachelor's get a, a like a lot of experience and then go into that into that um craft or into that career so what do you want to do and see different ways to actually get to that point but don't just do it because oh my mom said i must do it therefore i have to and i feel like you also hit on an important topic that i really wanted to hit on and you said that you know sometimes your parents don't go to school so then it's like they're looking at you as like the golden star and, or and it's like oh you must go to school because we didn't go to school so now you have the opportunity and also like my mom she did her um, bachelor's my dad did his master so it's looked at me like okay well, from my dad's point of view is i came from nigeria from this village and I'm here and I did my master's now you that are born here like what are you doing now? You're just being lazy because if I was able to do it, then you should be able to do it too, yeah. you know But the thing about me that I'm so happy about myself is that I'm clear on what I want to do And I'm also clear on what I am not going to do and that's why I was like, you know what? Master's is a great opportunity and maybe I still may go because there's different interests that are popping up But as of now, I feel like to get where I want to be a master's is not really necessary for me personally But if I do want to become maybe a high school teacher I would have to go and do my master's yeah so, and yeah. then hitting back on the point where you said about your parents about how they're putting this pressure or that you have this say pressure about you know reaching higher or aiming higher I did want to say that for those students or for those students for those people who have parents who didn't go to college don't feel bad that you didn't go to college or that you're not able to go to college just because you have had the education up until your high school you know your high school years like it's not you know it's not your fault that the system wasn't created yeah, for right. people like us mm -hmm. for people who you know don't have access to that kind of education but it really it doesn't it's not supposed to make you feel like you're less than because you didn't go to a four-year college or you didn't go to you know a two-year college like just because your parents don't have that like it doesn't make you like you have to do this like as long as you know that you're doing something that makes you happy mm -hmm. and that's gonna you know help you make the people around you better or live better that's really all that matters because i feel like a lot of people who don't have the opportunity to go to college mm -hmm. and you know they have parents that come from humble beginnings like they have this pressure to like stop to break that mm -hmm. cycle mm -hmm. and and it, it really is like a whole it really it's like a whole diaspora thing <laughs> so it stopped recording and now we're back we're back 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 back, 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 back. okay so if you could just kind of finish off what you were saying so i was just saying that for people who who have parents who didn't go to college and they themselves you know you yourself if you you know have parents who didn't go to college you shouldn't feel bad that you're not going to college or that you're not pursuing a higher education and don't feel bad that you're not able to break that cycle because I was mentioning earlier that the system education was not created for us people of color to have access to it easily like other people um, and I, I think that you know when you're placed in this situation with parents who don't have you know the knowledge or who, who didn't have the opportunity um, don't feel bad about it. Do what you love. Do what makes you happy. Like I said earlier in the other episode about if, is, is college necessary? You don't always need college to be successful. And especially if you have a business um, demeanor, if you want to open your own business or if you want to do other things. Like College is not necessary. Don't feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. um, once you're in college, if you decide you want to do something, that will require a master's, definitely pursue it. Definitely, if it's gonna give you the opportunities that you need, and the, if you think that it will give you the connections and will give you all the information and knowledge and experience that you need, definitely pursue it. We're no, we're, we're nobody to tell you guys what to or what not to do. It really right. all depends on what you wanna do and what makes you happy and what you're passionate about and what you value. Mm -hmm. Don't go into something that you just feel like, well, this is something my parents want me to do. It's something that it's gonna make me look better than everyone else. No, do something that makes you feel, wow, this is something that I love doing. This is something that I wanted to do and it's gonna give me the ability to help change other people's lives and mm -hmm. and care about people around me, not just myself. Yeah, it's, it's okay to be selfish sometimes, but it's also like, what are we doing for each other? Right. If you if you don't go to school and you're like, you know, I, I do want to pursue like something, 
don't feel bad that you're not going the educational route but whatever you do be the best at it like go Definitely. hard go like grind work hard like I don't know if you guys are noticing on my series I have like a work harder series and it's because a lot of people are working hard yes but how many people are working harder how many people are waking up before everybody else and focusing on their business how many people are declining different events or declining going to like spend money or on different things because they're rather invest that in their business like work harder so if you want to like let's say not go the education route and your parents are just like you know saying you know i want you to do this or whatever you do in life work harder like work harder you have to you have to work harder definitely and also lastly like there's so much stuff that you could do you have like people nowadays with technology there's so much people could do youtube that's something that people could start on their own fitness Instagram, everything that you guys, everything that you guys, all the apps, you could literally build your persona and build your brand off of what you use every day. That's real. Mm -hmm. Doing nothing with, you know, right. like if That's you, real. you have access to Instagram, Instagram is free. That's mm -hmm. real. YouTube is free. That's Maybe real. a camera and like a light. Right. <laughs> but a lot of people free. start on their phone. Exactly. Yeah. You are, it just literally, my phone's right here. I'm like, a lot so of So it really, phones. it's like, yeah, it's like. You have the ability to do it if you really want it. Like Crystal said, what is making you different from everybody else? Like, do you really want it? Are you waking up early to go to the gym? Or are you waking up early to um, listen to that podcast? Or are you waking up early to read that chapter of that book that's going to give you all the information you need to, you know, set the rest of your day? It really all depends on what you're doing if that's and good. if you really want it. Right. And I think it's um, one word that you touched on that I understand is very important access um, so you have to think about what do you have access to I may not have the money to go to college but regardless of how my parents feel that might that might be something that you want to do what do you have access to what can you utilize who can you utilize so access is I think that's becoming such a important public health word to me like <laughs> access making sure we understand what we have access to and how do we how are we able to utilize that to the best of our ability and I want to say that like you may i want when you're listening to us speak i want your brain to open i want you to really think on what you have access to it's easy, easy to say i don't have access to anything but if you don't have a computer at home then you may have a library if you don't have a library in your community maybe you have like a bus that goes one way out to another community that has that um library so you can get on the internet if you don't have that maybe you have your phones like do you guys know that our phones has more information than the first rocket ship that came out so you there's so much things that you can do on this phone and even, let me even tell you this resource because me and liz we went to like this career specialist at our school and like i you know developed my a linkedin page and like i tried <laughs> to fix it up and stuff and it's so funny because there was a a what do they call those people that are looking for people? Uh, the the town yeah recruiter. There was a recruiter that found me on LinkedIn, and then we had a phone interview, and now we're gonna schedule like a in person. Oh, that's good. Exactly because and you of just LinkedIn. Did it. Yeah. Just did, like not even a week, did and then you she even apply? To no, I didn't apply to They're it. They're looking like you know, just, so. That's I what I'm saying. Like. like there's resources. Get on LinkedIn and try to develop your page and network with different people because. Even though there may be a small few, a uh, small group of people that don't want to help you, there is a large pool of people that are willing to help you. Like even me, you guys know that I'm willing to get on Snapchat. We're willing to FaceTime. Like I FaceTime different people. I've called different people. I've made friends through YouTube. There are willing that are there are people that are willing to help. So take advantage, and we all have access to something. Like you have access to me. If you have access to me, then you have access to a lot of things. Okay. Especially if you have a smartphone, you have uh, okay. access to. A lot of things that our parents and generations before them did not have access to so what are we utilizing our phone for and mm -hmm. well best friends I am so happy that you guys watched this entire video I really hope that you learned something because you know we were just just dripping gems all the gems were just in this episode we're just freestyling basically exactly There's no pen and paper that we like oh this is what we're gonna talk about <laughs> exactly so take advantage of what we said and if you guys want to get in contact with us what are your social medias Liz Liz 723 bless the best with two t's on the end so yes, best friends, I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Bye, best friends. <laughs>